What's up y'all? Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Minzy and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel because here we talk about all things fragrances. All right guys, today I come back to you with another video and this video is about clean girl aesthetic fragrances and as you can tell i am nowhere near a clean girl aesthetic kind of girl but hey i still have fragrances in this category and i would love to share with you guys and guys this is my second time doing this video including the haul video of 2023 um, the reason why I have to redo this video and the haul video is because I just forgot to plug in my microphone and the videos are not bad per se, but it's just not up to my standard and I'm a perfectionist, you know, it just drives me nuts if things are not perfect, things are not the way that I plan for it to be. So, you know, here I am doing this video again, but it's okay. I'm not complaining. I just really appreciate you guys. If you, if you guys can like my video and subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot to keep doing what I'm doing. And you know, I will try my best to deliver the best quality videos for you guys. But yeah, guys, let's jump right in this video. Clean Girl Aesthetic Fragrances. So the first fragrance I want to talk about today is from Tiffany & Co. And this is Tiffany Rose Gold. And here is the bottle. Very beautiful. It's, it's a clear bottle and it's have like a little rose gold blat right here. It's not a blat, but it, it's solid color to cover the back of this bottle. And then you can see through the bottle the note, three notes listed in here. The caps are not heavy, it's just like a plastic cap, but I think it's also very beautiful. Um, they have like Tiffany and Co. Company engraved on this cap. I think this little detail really make a difference on this bottle. And this is every, everybody knows this is a jewelry brand. And of course, they also have fragrances. To be honest with you guys, I did not buy this bottle. This is actually a birthday gift from my friend. She bought it for me last year when I turned 30 and I really appreciate her to do this for me because she loves, she knows that I love fragrances and she picked out this bottle for me and I think she did such a great job for picking Tiffany Rose Gold for me. I think this is a very beautiful clean girl aesthetic kind of fragrance let me spray it let me spray it on a blotter and then we can talk about it i love how the spray is like look at this it's very fine mist <sighs> beautiful so if i just look at the bottle um i can see that they have black currants blue rose and ambrette seat in this fragrance. There are more notes listed for this fragrance on Fragrantica, but I can just tell you right now, I smell, when I first spray it, I smell black currant the most. And this is a very beautiful, juicy, have a little bit of citrusy nuance kind of, um, fruity note. It's also have a little bit touch of tartness and a little bit green. So this black currant, I don't think is they just include the, the fruit, but also the stem, the leaves in here, which is cassie, because I can smell something green in here and also the tartness. And it's just bring out a lot of like bright and uplifting quality to this fragrance. And then as this dry down, it's get more watery, fruity. And then you and then you get the rose, musky rose, 
general, it's just such a beautiful, effortlessly beautiful fragrance to me. This fragrance doesn't last a long time. Um, yeah, that's the only complaint I have for this fragrance. The performance of this one is not great. It doesn't last and it doesn't project. It's like, I think it lasts for about an hour and everything starts to fade away. I cannot really tell. People around me cannot smell me and I have to dig my nose to my skin to actually smell this fragrance. But overall, this is still a very beautiful fragrance and because the performance of this one is not great, I only wear this one to bed or after, after the shower because of that clean, fresh quality really make me feel like, you know, I, after a shower, I feel clean and this just perfect to put on. Or in the morning, you know, when you just wake up and you want that, you want something to lift your mood, to wake you up. This is the type of fragrance that you also can wear in the morning. Um, especially if you don't go anywhere and you just want something smell good and then later on you go somewhere you want to put something on then this will be the one for you and like i said i also wear this one to bed because of the scents really make me feel comfort comfortable um so i also spray this one to bed or i sprayed it on my pillow to help me um, with my sleep so yeah this that is tiffany Rose Gold from Tiffany & Co. The next fragrance I want to talk about is Poets of Berlin from Wilhelm Parfumery. And this is a 50 ml bottle. It's a very beautiful detail bottle. I love the detail on the cap. I love the detail um, on the bottom of this bottle. Look at the glass cut. It's also very beautiful. And this is also a magnetic cap. Very, very nice. Very niche quality kind of bottle. Um, and yeah, I only need a 50 ml bottle because this is a very um, potent fragrance. I would say this has the best performance in this list that I'm talking about today. And you might think, oh, why I mentioned this one is a clean girl aesthetic fragrance. It, it is a vanilla. If you know this fragrance, this is a green vanilla fragrance. Yes, it is not like the typical clean, fresh kind of fragrances that clean girl aesthetic usually gravitate toward. But to me, there's a lot of clean girl aesthetic girls out there really dig into this fragrance. So yes of course i have to recommend this fragrance this is such a beautiful green fragrance and it's to me it's also very complex you start off with you this fragrance start off with something very green beautiful uplifting and it is from the bamboo i love the bamboos done in here I don't smell a lot of fragrance that have this kind of note. So when I smell this fragrance, I was really delighted to smell this note in here. It is such a different and beautiful note. Um, let me give you the main accords and the notes for this one. So the main accords, we have woody, vanilla, powdery, fruity, sweet, earthy, aromatic, citrus, and iris. And it, this was created in 2018 by Jerome Epinet. Top notes, we have blueberry, lemon. Middle notes, we have bamboo, orris. And then base notes, we have vanilla, sandwood, and vetiver. The spray is also very, very nice. Such a beautiful, fine mist. So what I can tell you from the beginning, I can smell something green right away. And yes, this has the blueberry and the lemon notes at the top notes. But I can tell, I can smell that bamboo notes right at the beginning. It's half that beautiful, uplifting, juicy, fruity, citrusy opening with, with a touch of green from the bamboo. So overall, up top of this fragrance are very bright, very 
happy, very green. And I can get that sweetness right away. But this sweetness smell like a candy-like sweetness. Very beautiful. And then as this dries down, it get more powdery. And then we, we end up with something smoky and woody vanilla. So I would say this is such a beautiful and complex vanilla. And usually vanilla smell very warm and cozy and kind of like cooler weather type of um, note. But in this fragrance, I can feel like you can pull it off throughout the years. Like every season would work for this fragrance. The greenness, the brightness, and the uplifting quality of this fragrance keep this fragrance from going to deep and dark direction that you cannot pull off during spring and summer and i love i love it about this fragrance it's just such a beautiful sweet and happy fragrance for anyone you know if you love vanilla but you feel like a lot of vanilla it's kind of go into too much of the gourmand um, direction try this one out to me it is a beautiful vanilla fragrance green vanilla fragrance but doesn't go into gourmand territory and then again you can wear this one every season year round and you will smell absolutely gorgeous and different so yeah that is Poets of Berlin from Wilhelm Parfumery. All right guys, let's move on to the next one. And the one that I'm gonna talk about today is Meliora from Parfum de Marley. And this is the bottle. Very beautiful Parfum de Marley kind of bottle. I actually got this one um, in a tester bottle. So I don't have like the box and everything and the cap right here is kind of loose so I put on a little bit of glue right here so it doesn't look the best but you know it it works for me I, I'm not complaining it's just not like the perfect presentation if you buy like a full presentation still in the box kind of bottle this is just a tester and they also have the notes in the back so let me give you the notes for you guys so top notes, we have red berry, raspberry, lemon essence. Heart notes, we have rose, ylang ylang, jasmine tea. And then base note, we have vanilla, musk, cedar wood. Let me spray on a blotter and let's talk about this. I also love the spray of this one. Very nice and refined mist. Right away when I first spray it, I can smell a lot of berries in here with the lemon, the citrus from the lemon. This is such a kind of fragrance that I love to wear during spring and summer because of how beautiful, clean, fresh, fruity, floral it is. And then right away, now I can pick up that rose, that beautiful, comforting jasmine tea and a little bit of the ylang ylang i can smell that tropical yellow floral kind of quality from the ylang ylang in here we have musk a little bit of wood and then of course just a tiny bit vanilla so this is not a sweet fragrance the vanilla in here is just like playing a supportive role to other notes in here this doesn't go to the sweet the gourmand territory oh it's just so beautiful i just think like all of the notes in here really work well together to create this beautiful clean fresh effortlessly beautiful fragrance for a beautiful girl i get a lot a lot of ylang ylang in here yes it's such a beautiful feminine girly kind of fragrance and it still have that clean fresh quality that i would think a clean girl aesthetic would love this kind of fragrance so yeah we have meliora from parfum de marley all right guys the next fragrance i want to talk about is penhaligon luna and this is how the bottle looks. This is the Sender Penhaligon bottle. It has the lavender lilac color juice inside. 
and then I actually got this bottle from the website so that I can get them uh, engrave my name in here yeah it's just such a beautiful elegant bottle to me it looks very regal in my opinion I love the bold detail on here and you have to see that when it comes in the box it looks the box looked very very expensive okay i love the whole presentation from this house and luna is my favorite from the house so i actually blind bought this one and since then it is one of my favorite fragrance to wear during summer right up top i get a lot of citrus in here like one of the thing about this fragrance is it open up very citrus but not in a way that smell like cleaning products. The citrus in here accompanied with something aromatic that brings out the elegance in this fragrance. And the best way I can describe this fragrance is it smell airy and ethereal. Ethereal is the perfect word to describe this fragrance. I um, watched this girl on YouTube and her name is Gabriella and she described um, girl on, on salons like a like like a girl that get lost in the forest and have these like fairies washing her with on salon is like it smells ethereal and fairy kind of thing and to me this will be that type of fragrance for me it's Luna from Ben Halligan Actually, let me give you the main accords and the notes for this one. So the main accords include citrus, aromatic, fresh, spicy, rose, woody, and fresh. And then top notes, we have lemon, bergamot, bitter orange. Middle notes, we have rose, juniper, berries, jasmine. And base note, we have balsam, fir, musk, and ambergris. Yes, like you smell exactly how the note structure listed in here like i said you get a lot of citrus in here from the bergamot from the um, bitter orange and from the lemon and all these three kind of citrus just work well together to give that citrusy but fruity opening at the same time but right away you get something very aromatic you get some rose you get some floral type of quality i don't really smell much of the jasmine in here i think because of the rose and the jasmine mixed together kind of make me feel like there's no jasmine in here it just smells something floral but not too florally i don't know if that's a word but yeah i think you understand what i'm trying to say right here um, but yeah, and then I love, I love the juniper berries in here. Again, it's just such a nice, airy, ethereal kind of fragrance. Like the kind of fragrance that a fairy would wear and would wash themselves in. So yeah, we have Penhaligan's Luna. So the last fragrance is going to be in this list is... Pacific Rock Moss from Goldfield and Bangs. And this is the bottle. I only get a 50 ml bottle because I only wear this fragrance during summer. And to me, this smell, this gives the same vibe as Wood Sage and Sea Soul from Jo Malone, but with a much, much more better performance. So if you love that kind of fragrance from Joe Malone, but you have the problem with the performance, try it out Pacific Rock Moss from Goldfield and Bang because this is such a beautiful fragrance. This is, this smells like a beautiful aquatic cocktail on the beach, in my opinion. So let me give you the main accords and the notes for this one. We have main accords, aromatic, citrus, herbal, woody, mossy, fresh, spicy, earthy, and soft, spicy. This was launched in 2016. And the notes, we have Italian lemon, sage, moss, geranium, and Virginia cedar. To be honest, I also smell something salty in here that's why i tell you it smells kind of beachy vibe to me of 
course, I smell a lot of moss in here. Woody, a tiny bit citrusy, but not like really, really go to that rim. It's just such a beautiful, uplifting, comforting type of fragrance that I love to wear during summer. This is a beautiful beachy kind of fragrance that not in a sun tanny lotion kind of way. You know what I mean? Like every time you think of a beach and summer fragrance, it's always going to that suntan lotion, coconut type of fragrance. This one is not like that. This one is to me is a much more unique kind of beachy summer vibe fragrance and i just love 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 that watery that beautiful cocktail on the beach vibe that pacific rock moss gives to me it's just the most perfect scent for summer guys and i just need a 50 ml again because i only wear it during summer but I also but I also only need 50 ml because the performance it's really really good on this one compared to wood sage and sea salt. So yeah, we have Pacific Rug Moss from Go Fuel and Bay. Alright guys, I have a couple more honorable mentions in here. I just don't include um, officially in this list and one of them is Ormond Jane's Levon. Um, I just talked about this fragrance in my haul video. Like I said, I haven't had enough time to play with this fragrance so I just don't want to just include in this fragrance but I feel like this fragrance would be loved by a lot of you guys especially if you love clean girl aesthetic vibe. This could be the one for you. That beautiful again clean fresh floral kind of fragrance but it's just, to me, it is just so different than anything I have ever smelled before. It's kind of mouth, it's kind of also smelled very mouth watering in my opinion. Um, and like I said in the other video, I actually fell in love with this one right on my first sniff and this put me on the house of Ormond Jane's. Before this one, I just did not click with the house, but because of Levon. Now I want to explore more from Ormond James. Another honorable mention I want to tell you guys, and I don't have the bottle right now, but it is um, Delina La Rose. I think it's also very nice to fit in this kind of category. Um, if you don't know, La Rose means dew, so it's not. It doesn't mean rose, okay? So if you think that Delina La Rose means that there is more rose to that fragrance, no, it's not like that. It means that Delina La Rose is a more watery version of the original Delina, and it fits just bright beautiful in this category you can wear it in spring and summer it's very beautiful it's also smell ethereal in my opinion and it's it smell like a beautiful pink rose in the early morning and the dew on the rose just make this rose smell so watery and so fresh like like i said like it's in the early morning so yeah guys that conclude my video today i hope you guys enjoy my recommendations for clean girl aesthetic fragrances let me know what your guys recommendations for clean girl aesthetic kind of fragrances these are not the category that i gravitate toward often like 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 I said, if you have been watching my video, you know that I love vanilla. I love something very potent, very, have like a very deep, dark quality. And these fragrances are leaning more on the fresh, clean side. I don't usually wear them, but I do have occasions where I want to wear them, especially during spring and summer when it's when the weather's getting warmer and then the sun comes out more often then these are like perfect for those kind of seasons for those kind of occasions but yeah guys i hope you i really really hope you enjoy this video again thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you guys next time bye